Our calling is not our identity, but many preach as if it were. There are many people across the day and age, many uh, ministers and pastors from the pulpits, who are declaring that basically our calling is our identity. Now, this is on a subconscious level. It takes Holy Ghost discernment to understand this. But many people are preaching as if our calling and our purpose is our identity, but our identity is found in Christ alone. And when we're born again, have believed Jesus Christ, Lord and Savior, and repented of our sins, we enter into the faith. And then as we enter into the faith, we find our identity in Christ, and then it is by Christ that we are led into our calling and identity. But many pastors are proclaiming, come to God to, to receive your calling and your purpose. You know, they, they, they speak always on purpose. They speak always on God's call for our lives. But many people are getting so wrapped up that the calling and purpose for our life has become an idol ahead of God. People are entering into the faith, quote unquote, and some are truly entering into the faith, making an idol out of the calling and purpose of their lives rather than wanting to exalt God. And this is a substantial problem across the United States of America because so many people are confused about their calling and purpose. They don't know where to turn. But also a lot of people are entering into the faith solely because of the preaching of the messages about calling and purpose rather than about God. Life is about God. It's not about us. It's about God. It's about exalting God, knowing God more, desiring to receive deeper revelations of who he is, pressing into his love, living for him, serving him, being willing to die for him. Life is about God, and God wants us to know this. And when we begin to know this, when we, when we press into God, when we take time with God, Doors begin to open up that only God can do, and then our calling and purpose is revealed. And then we are able to steward that very well. But many people are preaching so much on our calling and purpose that we are neglecting that church is not about us. Life is not about us. It is about God. And it, it is so easy to make things that are even good from God and place them above God. Because idols come in many different forms. It's not just the physical realm, it's the metaphysical realm. It's not only that which is obvious, but that which is subtle. It's not only in things that are evil and bad, but it's also in things that are good and meant to be used for good. Idols come in a variety of ways and in a multitude of forms, and we need to ask that the Holy Spirit would keep us from allowing good things to come, to come ahead of God. Because when we begin to take the blessings of God and place it ahead of God, that is a dangerous reality to be living in. And so may we just ask God for his spirit to move and for us to be drawn to him, not just what we can get from him. Uh, may we not allow our calling and purpose to override just merely knowing and dwelling in God's presence, presence and loving him and serving him. And just just coming to know deep revelations of who he is. Even knowledge can come ahead of God. Knowledge of God can be placed above God himself. The presence and the feeling of God can be placed above God himself. And this is the way of those who progress in spiritual maturity in the faith. These things don't happen overnight. These convictions don't happen right away. But we just need to understand that many are preaching from the pulpits all about God has a plan for your life. God has a purpose for your life. God has a call on your life. And this is true, but the majority of those people who preach this, they stay in that manifestation realm and they are unwilling. And, and they, they might not even have the capability because maybe they're not even born again to just preach about Christ and Christ crucified. Preach about the triune God, the Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Preach about the deeper things of the spiritual life. They can't do it because they are so concerned about their reputation and the call that, that either God has for their life or that they have generated, self-generated in their life. They are so consumed and wrapped up with that that they have forsaken God and all they care about is finding purpose and meaning when ultimately our purpose and meaning is truly found in God alone. So may we just pray that our identity, we would recognize that our identity is solely found in Christ and what he has done so that we can properly steward everything else that is to come because God desires to lead us upon still waters 
He wants to move in miraculous ways, but this can only happen when we truly put God on the throne where he already is, but he needs to be on the throne both within our mind and within our heart.